Uh, what is natural? What is biological? That's what we talk about on this channel. We are not into the inorganic, artificial, unnatural state that is present modern society. What's good, y'all? You dub back here again here in 2022. Let's get it. You know, I know that there are other channels that specifically go into relationships and more, but I like to also present things from a male's perspective, from male nature, if you want to call it that. I talk about masculinity, femininity more, and I'll do more and in increasing amount of videos because I have these discussions um, with a lot of dudes, but so a lot of ladies as well younger and older and i give them a perspective they've never heard of they'll be like oh oh that's interesting you know because unfortunately a lot of people are not taught about a lot of different things when you see this you know some people instantly have some knee-jerk reactions bear with me chill chill let's be chill let's be civil let's be adult about things i'm talking with adults preferably mature adults right now at any other time period in the history, this is obvious. This is obvious. Obviously, we're not including arranged marriages, but even with that, maybe in some certain situations. But women select 95% of the time when it comes, you could say, heterosexual relationships, but even beyond that, because there's potential of lesbians still choosing men. But anyways, I digress. It's just the reality with humans, you know, unlike I said, unless you live in specific societies, this is the interplay. This is the reality. Even with other species, the woman selects from a variety of things, whether it be strength, combat, peacocking, like, ooh, he's flashy. She likes him, right? So, and we're obviously not talking about coercion you know, assault, rape, things of that nature. We're obviously talking about consensual relations here. And this is romantic and sexual. And yes, they should say guys, that, you know, people say guy online, guys are the ones who decide what the relationship is. Sure, but if it's a no-go, no-fly zone, it's a no-go, no-fly zone with her. You understand? So it, there's there's a balance there. Yes, when it comes towards marriage and things like that, yeah, it's men who decide that aspect. But as far as in the relations aspect, it's the female. And we know that because of sexless marriages and more. All right. So why should women pursue first? Right. Understand what I mean by pursuit. Neither sex should be chasing. First of all, if you're chasing, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of energy, and that means that something's off. It means that something's off. Either someone's not into someone, someone's overly pursuing, someone's overly going above and beyond where it's just not good, it's not healthy, it could potentially be stalkerish, can be creepy, can just be someone's not really interested, doesn't really care, but someone's still pursuing anyway. And I don't mean that there was some kind of natural traction and then things got muddied in the waters because of confusion and people playing games or, or mentally not there no i'm talking about it's obvious that this person doesn't like this person like everybody in mama can see from a mile away right so something's off there right but here's besides all that here's another reason why women should choose first i mean pursue first right i mentioned in times past that this is what was done it avoids everything, right? It avoids her being potentially threatened or assaulted, right? Because she's thinking about her safety. It avoids him emotionally being screwed over, right? It avoids, you know, an imbalance where he's really into her and she doesn't care at all. I don't mean that she's not sure, I mean, at all, like it's a no fly zone, no go at all, right? It avoids, you know, hopefully quick breakup kind of situations. And I say hopefully because we know in the modern day, things are wild out here in these streets. It avoids, you know, a possibility of if someone gets pregnant, then, oh my God, I hate this baby because 
I'm with a dude I wasn't really into anyways. So, and we can go further and further from there. We get, you know, there's actual attraction towards the man, which will cause her to more so want to stay. So, we got that. And what do I mean by pursuit? It's really this simple for ladies. It's really, really fucking simple. All she has to do is one, be approachable. Now, we'll get into what approachability means. And two, put herself in the proximity of the man she desires. It's really simple. Now, it's comes to get a, wait, 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 wait. That doesn't sound easy. What do I always say? If you ever talk with me, simple doesn't mean easy. I didn't say this was easy. I just said it's simple. Okay. So, approachability. Number one, be feminine. Be feminine. And there's an energy. It's not a look. It's an energy. It's a it's a state of being. It just it's what you present. Because I'll I'll get pushed back from ladies like some who even know me. They're like, oh, but I'm I'm you know I present a listen. Just like there's a masculine energy, you can feel, you can see. It it's the aura that exudes. It's literally what attracts dudes. And if you're not feminine, you're only going to attract certain types of dudes that you probably don't want who are good and who aren't good who are toxic in a n number of types of ways. And if you are feminine, you're going to attract all kinds of dudes. You will. May not be dudes you want in the fantasy, but you're going to attract all kinds of dudes. And the dudes you want in fantasy, well, guess what? A lot of them are just trying to hit and quit. They're just trying to smash. Listen, free vag, free pussy. A lot of dudes are going to be like, oh, okay, I'm not turning that shit down. Especially if they're not actually masculine men, because masculine men don't operate like that. Just don't. Now, sometimes before y'all hate on the, the dudes, time out. There's a lot of chicks y'all know that if they are lonely, if they're horny, if, you know, they, they missed at the club or bar and want some dick, all right? If they need some bills paid or some financial assistance or, you know, they need some help, hey, they, they got that 3 a.m. booty call on lock, on speed dial, okay? So don't don't just put that off on dudes. Chicks do the same thing, all right? Let's not get this shit twisted. We know how this game goes. In fact, a lot of chicks do it more than a lot of dudes, and it's easier access for them. So femininity. Also be approachable. When a dude comes... Don't have no traumatic, oh my gosh, I do support. Of course he's approaching you. Act accordingly. What the hell is wrong with y'all? I don't understand why ladies have a problem with dudes being into them. Approachability, being friendly. Being nurturing, being caring. Having an occasional smile. I ain't got to say you got to be all cheesy. No. But I know as a man, and a lot of men can relate. Just passing by a woman, she just flashes my man, never seen her again. It makes my day better. It also low lessens the guard. It makes me not want to be, makes me actually want to help, makes me actually want to be, okay. Approachability, respectability, makes me, activates my male nature, activates my masculinity towards a woman. Okay. Okay, I don't have to go through bloody hurdles to go through okay she actually wants me in her presence instead of me having to guess and da 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 maybe she oh i don't understand why guys are not approaching you ain't giving off an aura vibe an energy a, a, a look a presentation that you want to be approached so dude's not approaching if you just have the rest in bitch face or you just are out everywhere and you just look mean or you just look unpleasant no dude's gonna want to approach the only dudes you're going to approach are the dudes who, again, just look at a hit and quit, smash and dash, however y'all want to call it these days. Just dudes who, who are have no backbone and don't care. They have no self-esteem. They're just trying to get anything they can. Dudes who, you know, just, they just shoot their shot everywhere. The dudes who are loud, the dudes who are that. Because a man, myself and others, who just, on that masculine vibe, or a man who just a regular dude is not just approaching one, just not doing it. Especially in this day and age, after a number of things I can get into, me too and otherwise, right? Women say they don't like to be approached, and then they complain about not being approached. Y'all did this to yourselves. 
It said you didn't want to be approaching publicly. So I don't even just go out of my way to approach it. People, I've asked people who know me or see me around, you know, the city and they have, around the town. And they'll be like, no, nah, I've never really seen you approach. You're damn right you ain't seen. Because I'm not dealing with that, man. I'm not dealing with the headache, the backlash. Listen, man, the way that would another thing, the, the, the rejection and the friend zoning and, and the more, it's just, no, it's not even worth it. It's honestly not worth it for most men to approach. And we, it's just a waste of time in a lot of cases. Also, I need to know what a mind's like, right? I need to know how she, she moves and operates and navigates the world because she might seem cool, she might seem pretty, but then you open up the can of, oh, oh, my goodness, all the trauma and things that come in and ensue. So there's that. Be approachable. And then put yourself in the proximity. You can't complain. Well, I don't know why I don't, I'm, I'm lonely. I, I'm dealing with the vibrator. I'm dealing with the dildo and, and things like that. I don't understand why no guys. All you do is work and go home. How many guys are you going to meet? Especially if you're not in a male dominated space. But even if you are, a lot of them you're probably not even going to be attracted to. Or you're going to be like nurses in hospitals and try to get with the with the doctors, but they either married or not going to be committal because they got all these chicks throwing themselves at them. Think about it, right? So you got to be in the proximity of the, the type of man you desire, right? Got to. You got to place yourself there. You actually got to put in some work, ladies. You can't expect, oh, oh, I want this fine looking brother, but not even put in a, sometimes ladies go to the gym and things like that. Just saying. Or if you if you want a, a well well off brother, not even super wealthy, you gotta find you gotta know where these locations are. Where you gonna find these type of men? You might have to move to another location to find that type of man because you are gonna have regular dudes just there. If that's something you're pursuing, uh, you can't complain that these dudes ain't hitting you up if all you is is in the crib all the time. You just in your apartment or house all the time. Oh, I got all this money. That doesn't attract dudes, nor do we care. We don't care. And the only, again, the only dudes you're attracting are the dudes who are straight bums, who are looking to leech. I'm always attracting these dudes because you're leading with that shit. That's not approaching. You're not pursuing. You're just presenting like, oh, he see here. It's like taking dudes just sending random dick pics to chicks. It's the same kind of shit you're doing. You're not really doing anything to impress anybody. You're not really, I'm not saying you have to impress, but you're not doing anything to really stick in somebody's dome unless they're looking to use you. Same thing with a dude flashing the cheese, as they say. There's a dude flashing the cash. He's going to attract gold diggers. Duh. He's going to attract users. Duh. Because that's what he's leading with. You don't want to you don't want to attract a certain thing. Don't lead us with a certain thing. Right. Put yourself in the proximity. If, if you want a dude who, you know, is a good man, find out where good men be. Now, you can say there's good men everywhere, but they, come on. You know what I'm saying? Probably not meeting him at the club. Not saying it can't happen. Probably not meeting him at the bar. Not saying it can't happen. But there's going to be a certain vibrational level on and all that. Going to be dudes at a certain frequency. And observe him. Pete Game, vet him. Both sexes are supposed to be vetting anyways. Want a man to pursue you? Okay. Here's another thing. All right. If you want to play that game, we'll go with that. Let's say, here's why I say you should pursue first. But you want a man to pursue, and then when a man pursues you, here's the thing. Understand when a man's actually in love with you or is actually really into you. Do you understand what that looks like? When you're giving off that energy, do you understand? He's probably not going to come in the package that you anticipate, for one. See, it's where a lot of ladies mess up. They fuck up. And they pass up on good men, good brothers, good dudes, man. Truly good guys. And they select. Now, some of them do it because dysfunction is their norm and they self-sabotage. And we can do that into an entirely different uh, discussion and video. But let's just say they're not self-sabotaging. They literally will friend zone the dude. Oh, he's too nice. Oh, he, that's just my friend. Y'all heard me say this before. That's just my friend. That's just my best friend. Why are you not with dude? Now, I'm not saying every best male, female. I'm not saying we can't be friends. I'm not saying that men and women can't be friends. But it's the dude who literally will listen to you all times of the night. 
We literally want to spend time with you. We want to wake up next to you. We want to, you know, he talks with you. He listens. He, he gleans. He actually pays attention to the stuff. The stuff that you say that you want him to do. The husband material dudes. And I'm going to do an entirely visit, different video on women mainly not pursuing husbands. But the dude who has the traits of a husband. Why are you passing up on homeboy? And the women who don't, guess what? They're married. And they're in happy marriages with men they love. Men who are good for them. Men who don't beat on them, don't cheat on them. On, on, don't treat them like trash. Don't be disrespectful. Hardworking, good men. Men who look out for them. Men who are there for the kids, who are great dads to the kids. And more and more I could go into. Stuff that women say they won't, but then you don't choose. You know homeboy wasn't stable in his mind to begin with. And I don't mean mental health issues. Right? That's, a, that's a whole different thing we can table for now. I mean, you know he wasn't, he wasn't good. He wasn't committal. He, he had two or three other women he was seeing at the time. He, you know, baby mama drama problem, prop the problem. I'm not saying multiple. I'm not saying he didn't have children with other women. I'm talking about drama. Okay, full blown drama, right? And him, and I'm not talking about the dude who explained. Listen, I was in a relationship with a woman. Things didn't work out. I have a kid, or a couple kids, or we were married. We ain't talking about that kind of stuff, that mature stuff. We we talking about y'all know the type, the shit that be on like things like World Star and all over. You know, you can name it. Tick stuff. Females complain about on TikTok and things like that, right? So, that's the thing. A man, he's going to be intentional. He's going to be intentional. And he's going to be with the quickness. He ain't, it ain't going to take him long. He ain't going to be the way well, the wishy watch. Well, I don't know. The hot and you're cold and the yes and you're no on some Katy Perry status. You change your mind like a girl changes clothes. It ain't going to be that. He ain't got time or energy to waste. He don't want to. Getting to know a woman. Listen. Dealing with more than one woman is a fucking headache. It's enough to get to know a single woman. It's enough to deal with her mood swings, her emotions, her periods, and everything else. Bag issues she got, depending on her age. And nowadays, even youngins got baggage, right? Young ladies got baggage. It's enough to get to know one woman. I ain't trying to deal with another. That's what a lot of men say. They want peace. They want a sanctuary to go home to. They don't want World War Three all the damn time. A man who provides structure. A man who, who ain't all out here batshit crazy. Is a basket case. Who has no control over his emotions. No self-control. No discipline in his life. We well, can just make it work. We can just... No, you can't. No. No, you can't. And that means you potentially are vibrating on the wrong frequency anyway if you're even attracting those type of dudes. You elevate yourself, you're going to attract a certain dude. You're going to attract a certain dude with a certain level of intellect, certain level of logical and rational thinking, problem-solving ability, critical thinking, things of that nature. Now, are you willing to accept that? That's a whole nother thing, though. This is why women should pursue first. Because they're in a mode of acceptance. See, the feminine accepts, masculine provides. Even sex does this. Woman's vagina accepts a male's penis. It's just the nature of the beast, right? A woman except the ovum accepts the sperm. Fertilizes the egg. Boom. You get a child. Just think about it. Women nest naturally. Think about it. Women domesticate naturally think about it sent one of the symbols for the longest time of a woman and femininity has been the hearth I believe hera in uh greek mythology was the goddess of the hearth just put two and two together when things are natural and in balance boom and when i say be approachable put yourself in proximity i'm not saying like you actively going out of way in life but if you do these things, even if it could be, this is where the, oh, we just met at the store. The song, Bus Stop by the Hollies. Bus Stop. Me and it led towards marriage. 
uh, at the workplace, um, at your, you know, some hobby you do, you feel me? Some place you're around. Women have sometimes more intentionally put themselves there, but sometimes it's just dudes will just gravitate, or you see each other enough, you you in each other's space and naturally association and, and natural attraction builds it, boom. And are you willing to accept it? That's where the approachability is. You have to be accepting, ladies. And that's just really what it is. I didn't want to make this video too long, but it's really this simple. Women must pursue first. In order to attract the type of man they want to pursue them. And y'all have the easier job. Y'all really do. Y'all really do, because it's much more difficult for men. It's much more difficult for men, especially in this era. But yeah, unexpected one and like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the matter. And ladies and gentlemen, tell me. I want to hear what y'all have to say. If you think I'm off my rocker, if you think I'm on to something, anything else, your experiences, let's go. Let's hear it.